This video is about gears and speed. I'm going to be talking to you about what gear I'm in um, depending on the road conditions and I'll also let you know what speed I'm doing um, as often as possible. A lot of my ideas for videos come from the comments section of existing YouTube videos on my channel so if there's any video you'd like me to do or you'd like me to focus on then just let me know in the comments section of this video or any other video. Okay so we're going to move off now we're going to drive around um, an urban area and then maybe out on the main road um, and then back to more urban areas and as, as I said I'll let you know what gear I'm in and what speed I'm doing um, depending on the circumstances in front of me. So I'm going to move off here now anyway and uh, I might just reverse back a little bit here first just to give me a bit of room with, in relation to the car in front. So I'll be looking around first, checking the area. And then I'm just going to back a little bit here. Just kind of doing the, the five points, this one, the three mirrors, the shoulder here. And tilt the wheel a little bit like that to make my um, exit easier. So handbrake then, and first gear. I'll indicate my intention to move out. I'm just checking all the mirrors now. Blind spot. Looks all clear. Let's check again there. I might just wait for a second if I come in the heat. I probably would have made it, but I don't want to risk pulling it in front of him. And now, so three mirrors, blind spot again. It looks all clear. And out I go in. So at the moment, I'm just in first gear, just navigating my way along here. I'm going to put a little bit away, I'm going to just put on the wipers, of course. So right now, I'm just going up towards 20 kilometers in second gear. Now, I feel that what I see in front of me now, it's an urban area, there's a pedestrian crossing in front, there's a silver car pulling out. I feel better here now in second gear and 20 kilometers for this moment, at least till I get over the pedestrian crossing anyway. I'm gonna scan that, looks all clear. So, this is, I'm still there now going around 22, 23 kilometers in second gear. I'm just a bit conscious of these parked cars here in case one of them comes out. The surface is not the best either, and I see there's, there's a woman and a child there and a pedestrian in front of me there, slowly making his way across the road. So I am doing 18 kilometers now in second gear. He's kind of looking back there, he's just locking his car. So I, that's why I slowed down. I'm now going 15 kilometers. I'm gonna slow down again now. Just watching out for the pedestrians there, but they're far enough away. And again, I'm still going in the region of 20 kilometers and second gear. Okay, so a few little bends here. I'm trying to keep out as well to give the cars here a bit of a, a, a door length or a door length in a bit. Now maybe yeah, just a quick in the carrier because I think I'm going to be crossing the white line. Just a quick one though, because if I leave it on too long, people might think I'm going down there, which I'm not. I'm just making sure and then I'm just the old uh, one meter away. Again, I'm still 20 km, 22 kilometers now and um, second gear. Not much point in going to target up that big hill. So I'm just cruising along here. Looking up the road here now, and again, I might go to third gear now, but only I'm up to 30 kilometers by the way, so 30 kilometers in third gear. But that's only because it's a bit of a straighter road, and I can see a good bit ahead of me. And I'm staying out here, I'm not kind of weaving in and out of cars, I'm staying out here um, as much as I can. At the moment, I am at 22 23 kilometers in second gear. I might bring it up to third gear because, um, again, it's a good straight road, and I don't notice many major obstructions. Here. Now I know this is a person coming here, I'm going to drop around to second gear now, it looks like he's giving way to me, as he should because the obstructions are on his side, but if he wasn't able to, I would have happily stopped anyway. So he's there now and I'm going, I'm going about 25, 23 kilometers now, I'm still in second gear, there's another person there, so I'm just slowing down to second gear here, I mean, I'm still in second gear, sorry, and I'm still going just 20 kilometers. I feel that 20 kilometers there is suitable for this, the, the way the road is not the widest and um, I'm still in second gear. So there's a bit of a brow hill here, so I don't want to speed up and go to third gear and 30k coming around this downhill bend here. That wouldn't be the most appropriate thing to do. So right now, I'm still around about the 21 kilometer mark here. I'm covering the brake and I'm still in gear number two. So I'm looking just to follow the road around this way here now. I have right away, but I'm conscious of that car coming. I'm also just giving a quick glance or two there, no one there. Coming a little bit to this side to give these cars a bit of room here. A little bit tight, so what I'm doing now is I'm going into first gear. So I go into first gear and I slowly raise the clutch up so the car doesn't give a bit of a jump. Now, back up to second gear, 20 kilometers. I went to first gear back there because it was a bit tight. and I would have probably been okay in second gear, but, but by going to first gear it just makes the car a little bit, bit, bit better, a bit safer, a bit smoother at slow speeds. Just careful on the pedestrian crossing here. Nobody there. No, I've got a quick indicator to say I'm moving out here. I want to give this person here a bit of extra room. There's nobody coming towards me, so I can give her a bit of extra room there like that. Still second gear, 20 kilometers. 
This guy here now is parking her, so I'm just going to go into first gear again. The guy's just getting in the car, so is there any real point in me trying to overtake him? He might just move off himself anyway here now, and uh, he's not, so I'm going to just indicate my intention here now. I'm going to watch out for the pedestrian as well. Just checking the mirrors, blind spot, and out I go then. I thought she might move off there, but uh, no luck there. Now, these pedestrians here, I did not beckon them across the road. They were already kind of on the road, so I just stopped and let them make the now, and let them make their own decision on crossing the road. I never recommend that you beckon them across the road. So back up to second gear now, 20 kilometers, approaching 25, but slightly slowing down now for the pedestrian crossing here. Just making sure that there's uh, no one crossing here. All's good. I'm going to continue along here, and I'm still around the 25, 26 kilometer mark here now, still in second gear. Slightly tight streets, it might, might get a little bit wider, a little bit straighter up ahead, occasionally shaking the mirrors. Now the engine's getting a bit louder, so I'm going to go to third gear now. I'm up around 32, 33 kilometers third gear, which suits this particular moment um, that I'm driving on. Bit of a hill here now, so I might have to drop it here, but if I give it a bit of juice here now at the bottom of the hill, a bit of acceleration that is, that will um, negate the need to drop down the gear. So right now I'm in third gear and 38 kilometers so i'm just following the road around to the left here a little bit of a sharp end so maybe i'll just drop the second gear since it's an uphill bend so second gear now 22 23 kilometers keeping left on the bend engine's getting louder i'm up around 30 so up to third gear i'm at 30 kilometers now third gear 30k third gear much longer straighter road here now so i'm up to 50 kilometers now fourth gear 50 kilometers fourth gear right now this is the type of road where it's great to be at 50k and in um, fourth gear um, as far as i'm aware the speed limit is still 50 so i'm not going to risk going over 60 going to 60 here just come from town so i'm presuming it's 50 kilometers so 50 kilometers fourth gear I, if you look ahead I, I can see like well ahead like I can see what 100 meters maybe 100, 120 130 meters ahead of me so that's usually a good sign if I can see 100 meters plus in front no parked cars no potholes should be fine then for 50 kilometers and four gear which is what I'm doing so right now I'm at 40 kilometers 50 kilometers sorry in four gear I know it's just a bit of a bend up there you see those yellow and black arrows so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slow down slightly go down to third gear so I've slowed down to 40 kilometers now in third gear because it was a bit of a sharp bend so now the sharp end is over, I'm giving it a bit more juice. I'm up towards 50 now and fourth gear. So I'm in 50 kilometers um, as a, of a speed now and I'm in fourth gear. Um, and I know that the speed limit here is 60. So I'm up around the 57, 58, 59, 60 kilometers now and in fourth gear. A little bit of a bend up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slightly slow down. Um, it's a little bit of a sharp one. So I might go back down to third gear here. And that, that helps me deal with the bend in it because it was a bit sharper. I'm going back to four gear now. So I'm up to four gear and 55 kilometers there now. So if you see the, those yellow and black kind of chevron arrow signs, it's a good exam, it's a good idea just to <coughs> prepare anyway to slow down and possibly drop a gear depending on, the, on how sharp it is. But you'd usually be better off slowing down and preparing to drop a gear if you see a sharp bend up ahead. This one is a bit more gradual here, and the next one looks a little, like it is a bend up ahead, but it's, it's, it's kind of more gradual than, than the one with the chevron markings earlier on. So what I'm doing now is I'm up around 55 kilometers, and I'm in fourth gear on this stretch of road. I can still see a good bit ahead of me, so I can see about 70 meters ahead of me, so I feel okay there that I'm in fourth gear and 58 kilometers at the moment. So right now I'm on a dual carriageway and I always start off in the left lane here on a dual carriageway and I'm up to 50 kilometers now, 60 kilometers actually now and fourth gear. So I can see the signs there, no right turn and merging traffic. So I'm staying in the left lane here. I'm just checking the mirrors for anyone that might be behind me. I'm up around 70 kilometers now, so that means fifth gear. 70 kilometers and I'm in fifth gear now. So I normally stay in the, in the lane for as long as possible. So it gives me more time to build up speed before joining the main dual carriageway. So it looks like now I'm gonna be on the main dual carriageway now. So check the mirrors and we come and everything's fine. So right now I'm at 80 kilometers and in fifth gear. One of the most important pieces of advice for anybody, whether you're doing a driving test or not, is if it's a good safe road, it's okay to give it a bit of juice and to go up the gears, be it fourth gear or fifth gear. So right now I'm on a dual carriageway where the speed limit is 100 kilometers, nicely in the center of my lane. I'm in fifth gear and I'm about 85 to 90 kilometers 
of a speed at the moment and that's perfectly fine on a dual carriageway to be doing that I'm leaving plenty of room to the car in front there so like he's well ahead of me I'm in the centre of my lane and it's all good checking the mirrors occasionally which are always better off in the left lane only use the right lane for overtaking or if you're a faster moving vehicle or something like that and the normal thing to do is to stay in the left lane for normal driving so once again I'm on the dual carriageway 95 kilometers an hour now and fifth gear perfectly fine speed faster cars are going but they can overtake me on the left and then they'll come back in like that guy is doing there so 85 to 90 and fifth gear at the moment so 85 90 kilometers at the moment i'm still in fifth gear i might be exiting off the dual carriage when i'll soon we'll see how it goes but at the moment um 85 and fifth gear and that suits the speed because like i said the earlier on i can see well over 100 meters ahead of me so that's a good time then to be up um in in fourth or fifth gear depending on the on the circumstances so as i'm coming along here i'm just going to slow down a little bit to give them more room to come in there and i might be taking an exit now so mirrors indicate left check the mirrors again and i come in here then into my lane then to exit the dual carriageway so I'm slowing down here now, so I might just go to fourth gear. I'm down to 60 kilometers now and fourth gear. And now I'm going down to 50 kilometers to coincide with the speed limit there. So 50 kilometers now and fourth gear is what I'm at. I see the signs there for traffic lights and two-way street. I'll be going up here, going straight. So right now I'm around just below 40, so I'm gonna go into third gear now because I'm at around 40. And I'll make sure to stop, of course, before the yellow box. So second gear here now. And the advantage of going to second gear is if, if the traffic starts moving, I can just go in second gear. But so I'm going to drop her into first gear and then slowly off the clutch, and off I go then, like that. So even though the light is red, I can still go straight because you have the arrow there telling me I can go straight. So I'm up to third gear now. So what I'm up now, I'm up around between 37 and 40 kilometers now in third gear. I'm up around 40 now. A little bit of a gap in front of me, so I can go to fourth gear now. So I'm just below 50 kilometers there now and in fourth gear, which is going to be economical kind of gear to be in here. Now the road surface may not be the best here, so I might drop down to third, I'll, I'll see how it goes further up. But the main thing now is, I have a nice gap between myself and the car in front of me. I am at 45 and fourth gear, which is suitable. It's a fairly okay road, it's wide enough, straight enough. I'm going around 50 kilometers now, just below it. So again, perfectly fine for, for fourth gear territory. And I see a sign now for mini roundabout up ahead. So I might just slow down slightly. And because I slowed down now to 40 or 39, I go down to third gear. And the car is still slowing down gradually. So I'm now down around 30, 28 kilometers. That means about second gear going straight. Second gear. So I'm kind of looking to the right there, seeing as it's all okay. A bit of a car coming. I'm just going to roll into first gear here and see what this guy's doing. He's made a move now, so I'll let him go. And I'm quite ready. All good there. Now I indicate when I get past this exit here, like that. And the flash number light means I can go as long as there's no pedestrians or anything there and there's no pedestrians or anyone there. So coming along here now, I'm at 20 kilometers now. I'm just up to 30 kilometers now and that's why I'm in third gear now. Now this might be what I would call a good third gear road. It's not as, as tight as I need to go to second, but it's not as good as the earlier road. So this is what I call a nice, good example of a third gear road. I'm at around about 30 kilometers now and in third gear. It just suits the speed. It's not it's not big and wide and open, but it's not really tight either. So a good example of a third gear road there. Just check my mirrors that are coming back in. And I'm gonna just slow down slightly along here. I'm gonna be keeping left up along here anyway. So now so I'm gonna slow down towards 20 now and into second gear. 20 kilometers and second gear. Looking early and often on the roundabout. Just gonna go with the first gear there. Looks like I have a gap there now, so I can make that. And I'm gonna follow the road straight along here. Lights are green, so I can follow the road around and uh, i'm in second gear now in 25 kilometers an hour i'm going to pass the exit and indicate left checking the mirrors again okay going straight along here then again i'm still in second gear in 20 kilometers okay and i can just go up to 30 kilometers now and third gear so again another good example here now of a good third gear road i'm at 30 kilometers now bang on and in third gear and right now actually it looks a little bit straight so i can see well over 100 meters as i was saying earlier on i can see well over 100 meters ahead so i could think about going to fourth gear there now once that guy has done his thing there and i'm back down now at 30 kilometers and i'm a little bit juice now that's a stale green light that could go go red at any time i'm going to go straight so i'm just conscious that light could go red but at this stage i'm past the point of no return so i'm still in third gear by the way not quite at 50 kilometers yet i'm at 40 
creeping up now above 40. I don't want to go to Fort Gear now, there's a brow of a hill there with a the yellow box, so I don't want to go to Fort Gear and I wouldn't know what it would be, be the other side of it, I'm going over train tracks as well. So continuing on straight here now. Now I'm going to be slowing down, and down by 30 now, coming towards 28, second gear. I go to second gear because if that light goes green now, I can just cruise on through, and I bring her to a nice gentle stop. Now because it's lights, I should use the handbrake first, and then wait in first gear. And that way, I'm going straight by the way. So I have the handbrake on and I'm waiting in first gear. That means I'm ready to go. I can have my hand resting down here either if I want, it doesn't really matter. The car is perfectly safe either way. So I'm going straight here. I'm waiting in first gear here, going straight. And whether you're doing a test or driving on your own or, what, or driving as a full license driver, whatever, just because you're, you're here a while, doesn't mean you should switch off. I mean, I'm constantly looking around here. I'm thinking of that car they're turning in. I'm thinking maybe the yellow box if I was going right. There's a fairly clear road up ahead, but there's cars and there could be people on the left or right. I mean, there's a person up there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a guy across on the right up there. He could cross the road. So just because you're waiting a while, it doesn't mean if you're in a test or if you're a learner driver or whatever, it doesn't mean you switch off completely. Keep focus, keep kind of looking at the situation. So mirrors, and off I go then, and going straight. So even though the light is red, I can still go straight because the filter arrow is on there. Let's go on the junction and going along the straight. So I'm at 30 kilometers now, heading up towards 40 kilometers. So up towards 45 now, and that means fourth gear, 50 kilometers. That's the guy I was telling you about there, walking the dog. Always be aware of these things when you're, when you're driving along. So right now I'm at 50 kilometers and in fourth gear, which is handy enough here, but I'm watching out for the signs here. I may have to slow down if there's roadworks up ahead. Um, I don't see any yet, but there, but there could be. So at the moment, 50 kilometers, and I'm in fourth gear. Right now I'm at 20 kilometers and I'm in second gear going along um, a main street here. So 20 kilometers second gear, watching the cars, the lights, park cars, lights are green there, and the flashing lights here. So I'm still 20 kilometers here now, bit of a ramp there. So still 20 kilometers and second gear, just slowly getting over the ramp here. And of course, leaving a nice distance between myself and the car in front, I feel then I can see more ahead of me if I'm at this distance rather than being right up his uh, backside. So at the moment, still 20 kilometers and second gear. It suits the speed I'm going at. Although I can see a little bit ahead of me, it's too tight, too much, too much traffic. And I'm able to stop there, by the way, because I was going slow enough to stop. Well, it was a smooth stop. And uh, sometimes you have to be aware that if the light has been red for a while, it could easily change to amber and then green. So I stopped there because I had time. So I can go now as long as there's no other pedestrians coming along here. No one else along here. So in first gear now, if that's another thing. Of course, I might be stating the obvious here, but don't forget, key part of gears is if you do stop you have to remember to take off in first gear a lot of people forget that um, they end up accidentally taking off in second gear or even in neutral and then they're wondering why they're stalling or why their cars make an excess noise so in summary don't forget when you stop put the car into first gear so heading nice and straight so there's a fella creeping out here now um, she's already decided she's going so I'll let her go and I have enough room to clear the box there anyway. And I'm going second gear, still in second gear by the way. And I'm 18 kilometers now. So again, this suits the speed. So I'm gonna let a nice bit of distance come between myself and that red car in front there. And I am still second gear and just 21 kilometers an hour now. Second gear, 20 kilometers. Um, that's the, the typical speed on this street. As I was saying earlier, she's slowing down now, so so am I. Even though I can see a reasonable distance ahead, with all the parked cars, all the pedestrians, there's more potential here for danger, so I, you're better off being in second gear in these type of conditions. Now, so she's turned in, I have a bit more room. Um, I'm at 25 kilometers now. A little bit better vision now, a little bit clearer, less parked cars, so I can go to third gear. So right now, I'm at 32 kilometers, and I'm in third gear. Going over the little brow here, I'll be keeping left. Just double checking the mirrors. So I'm up to 40 kilometers, I'm still in third gear. People on the corner there, I don't wanna just, Go to fork there, give a bit of extra room. Now it's a little better up ahead. I see a school sign ahead as well, though. People walking as well. It's a little bit of an uphill, not much though, and I see there's traffic lights ahead as well. So maybe I'll stay in third here now and 40 kilometers just till I get past them. Now it's a little bit better and past the people. I'm up towards 45, 50 and fourth gear here now. Um, no school, this is a Sunday today, there's no school today, but it's still good to be aware of anyway. So right now I'm up on 42, 43 in fourth gear. Um, it's a bit of a better stretch of road here. The light is green there at the moment, just watch out just in case. And uh, I'm going to slow slightly on the bend here. I can still stay in fourth gear, like I'm not slowing down significantly, so I can stay in the gear I'm already in. Now if I was slowing down significantly, like a drop of 20 kilometers or something like that, 
I would think about dropping the gear but because my speed is fairly consistent there's no need for that so I'm still around 45 now I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice get her up to around about 50 the speed limit is 50 nothing wrong with going 50 kilometers here in fourth gear it's a perfectly good road to do that along here and now it's 60 so I can give it maybe a small bit of extra juice and I'm still in fourth gear along here heading up towards 60 fourth gear so because it's a good open clear safe road I feel per perfectly fine there be going up to being in fourth gear and going at 60 kilometers at the moment so at the moment I am in third gear and I'm going about 37 38 kilometers an hour so that suits the speed and it suits the conditions I mean at the moment third gear and 35 kilometers an hour at the moment down to 30 now so it's getting a little bit slower so I'm gonna go into second gear now I'm at 20 kilometers now in second gear and that's a good kind of rolling speed along here a nice slow slow pace here so what I could do here is I could go into first gear here and just let him out if he wants to go but did you notice there I didn't beckon him out I just slowed down I to first gear and then I came off the very slowly and I gave him a bit of space and I allowed him to make his own decision at no stage would I ever recommend anybody to do that or to beckon people out so again as always keeping a nice distance here between myself and him I'm at 20 kilometers now and I'm in second gear so 20 kilometers I'm in second gear at the moment I'm going very slow probably too slow for second so what I'm going to, I'm going to put the clutch in I'm going to first gear and then I'm going to come very 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 slowly off the clutch and operate on the basis of clutch control which of course I have other videos on and it's just a case of putting the clutch in a little bit and bringing it up a little bit it's kind of like massaging the clutch in and out gently um, technically it's coasting but it's good coasting because it's called clutch control so it's how we creep forward so nice and gently creeping forward here again I can leave a bit of a distance there if I want for this guy here and see if he wants to take the opportunity to move out but again I'm gonna let him make his own decision to move out I'm not going to flash him or give him the old hand signal to move out so at the moment I'm in first gear and I'm creeping along making sure I leave plenty of space there with that yellow box so I'm in first gear and I'm barely going 10 kilometers an hour here so first gear 10 15 kilometers so getting a little bit faster I'm up to 20 kilometers now so second gear so 20 kilometers second gear got a little bit of a person crossing here so back into first gear here and slowly off the clutch so first gear and he's going back there this guy can't make his mind up but I'm leaving him plenty of room anyway and that's the thing when you're driving in, in busy streets busy towns like that pedestrians are not the brightest sparks on the old bonfire generally and there he is now he's crisscrossing here he's crisscrossing all over the shop there but he's grand now so all good on the cross there green light and as I was saying, pedestrians can be unpredictable, so just watch out, be aware of their body language, they can unexpectedly cross in and out of the road um, like that. So 20 kilometers, second gear along here, pedestrian crossing coming up, so I'll be slowing down slightly now to below 20 kilometers now, still second gear, just in case anyone's there, nobody there by the looks of it, I'm all fine, I'll be going left up here at the junction, so I'll check the mirrors, I'll see what I'm doing first, I don't want to indicate yet, there's a couple of other junctions there first, so I want to just get over this first one first. Now, so I'm going to go to first gear here now and come off the clutch very slowly. And it looks like I'm fine to go there. So I'm getting past this junction first. And then I take this one here for cork. That's the one I want. I don't want to indicate too early. Double checking the mirrors. Second gear, 25 kilometers now. Um, I'll just delay third gear for a second till I get up over, over the brow of the hill. And there's a bend up here as well. So I think I'll just stay in second gear until I can see further around the bend. Now I can see a bit further, it's fine. So third gear now just below 30 kilometers third gear just below 30 just slightly above 30 now i'll be taking a turn off into the left soon again another good example of a third gear street along here i'll be taking now um, the next left so check the mirrors indicate the left double check again slow down slightly second gear is generally best for turns second gear bit of a sharp one and in i go then i'll be taking another right here then so mirrors indicate right still in second gear because generally speaking second gear is a good speed for turns a bit blind here so let me just pop it to first gear here looking forward here um we're all okay i just rolled into first gear there because it was a bit blind so i wouldn't just go around that fast in second gear normally you can do junctions and turns in second gear but if it subsequently becomes a little bit blind or uncertain you're better off than just either stopping or rolling into first gear but normally if the, if the junction is is of a typical nature you can just do the junction in second gear, it's usually fine. So I'm parking up here now. Handbrake always first, and then neutral. And I can switch off the car. So thanks a million for watching. I hope this helped you in terms of gears and speed. 
If you've any feedback or any comments or any requests for other videos, please let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye for now.